All right, so uh, trying to get this box collider to fit, and that looks, we'll say, adequate. So I'll turn that off, um, and that is good. So um, let's see what we got here. So I got this and this. All right, so I got the two shapes there. Um, that looks okay. I am going to go ahead and make this a trigger, and what I'm going to do is create an empty, and we will call this a, um, oh, actually, you know what? We will not do that. I'm going to take this guy, and I'm not going to make it a trigger. I'm going to go to add component, and we'll add another physics, and it'll be a rigid body. The component is really going to be added because the health component contains the same element. Oh, I already have it there. Okay, good. All right, so, um, good. So, we have that. That looks very adequate i'm going to go ahead and attach the health pickup and i am let's see first person controller scroll down here and it says health damage multiplier health pickup account good all right so what i'm going to do actually is take this health i'm going to go to my prefabs and i'm going to take that and drag it down in here i'm going to delete this and i'm going to find my guy by double clicking on it and I'm gonna take my health pickup drop it here and then I am going to see if I walk over it, if it disappears and it did so that more or less means that it probably added it great all right um, what I also need to do is go to project and I also need to make an egg pickup so I'm gonna go ahead and go to 3d and take my egg here I'm gonna drop it in actually let's just drop it in this way Boom, and I'm going to take this, and we will call this um, egg pickup. There we go, and um, good. And I'm going to take that, and I'm going to add a component to that, and we'll add. Oops, sorry, back there. Uh, physics rigid body, a component um, physics uh, sphere collider, and I'm going to go ahead and change this to egg pickup. All right and that looks okay i'm just gonna hit play and see if when i run over this if it goes disappears and it does good both of them disappear huzzah okay which means that basically that this script is working because obviously we have an on trigger under if it's an egg pickup or a health pickup and it is both doing those things so and it will also run the function add egg and um add health good okay so that's all looking pretty good go ahead and save that from uh there and there we go so now what i need to do is actually start creating um, some of the other attributes here that we would um, basically need so uh let's see script. did i make a player health script yet let's look at scripts player health script Okay, so I have... Oh, that's what all that is. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. So I have a player health script. I have that. Um, what I need to do also is an enemy uh, attack script. So right-click create uh, JavaScript. And we'll call this enemy attack script. All right, we're going to give that a second to uh, get its business going. All right, and then once that's good, um, what I'm going to do is go to my assets here, go to prefabs. I'm just going to take the enemy, drop it up here. Actually, we cannot do that. We'll just do it this way. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to add component. I'm going to go to scripts, and then um, I will see enemy attack script, and I will add it that way. Okay, so I'll go back to my scripts, and I will look for enemy uh, attack script. Double click on it, get it up. All right, so let's go ahead and make this thing work. So we are going to go ahead and do a variable for the attack um, amount. So AMT, we'll say, and that will be a float. And I'm going to set that equal to 10 just by default. And then we'll do a variable. Um, uh, we'll do a variable uh, attack speed. And we will make that a float, and we will set that at 2. Okay, so uh, that looks fine. And then I'm going to do another private variable. 
and we're going to call it anim, and this is going to control the um, animator component. And, uh, and oops, sorry, it's going to be an animator. Good. And we'll go ahead and we will. Um, I don't need the start, so I'm going to switch this to an awake. Awake. Boom. And I'm going to go ahead and do anim. Is uh, we're going to assign it the get component dot and it's going to be the animator uh, component all right good so that already go ahead already goes ahead and assigns that and let's see we'll put that there and then i don't need the update update but i do need on trigger oops trigger enter and we'll do other and we will do collider and that looks fine and what we're going to do is we're going to say if other dot tag, basically if the tag is player, I'm going to go ahead and have you run this bit of code. Okay. All right. Tab. And um, we're going to say um, anim, oops, anim dot set bool. And it's going to be uh, attack, all right? Because it's the attack attribute, uh, attack, which I think is what I named it. Let me double check real quick. So let me see, boop, and let's go to prefabs, select him, go to animator, and um, okay, let's bring it up here because I'm not sure what it's called. And boop, all right, let's reanim, okay. And yeah, uh, attack. Yep, that was called attack. Okay, so attack, and I'm gonna set that to true. All right. So basically, it's gonna play that, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a variable called player health script. So if it's attacking, and it's gonna be of the type player health script. Okay. It's going to be other dot transform dot game object dot get um, component component um, dot this oops sorry eh, this and it's going to be player health script. Um, like that, and then we're going to say player health script dot take damage, and it's going to be attack uh, AMT attack amount. So we're going to send it, and then we will uh, yield. Wait for seconds, and we're going to wait the attack speed amount. Okay, so basically, what it's going to do is it's going to say, Okay, if the other thing it collides with is player, and I didn't put this on there, so if the tag of the other thing is player, it's going to go ahead and, and turn on the animation of attack. Then, what's going to do is that this player health script, we're going to create a variable called player health script, and in that, I'm going to store the um, a variable of type player health script, which is what it is. It's the script called player health. And that is going to be of type other, because that's the thing we're colliding with. And it's going to be the game object. We're going to look in that game object. We're going to get the component called player health script, because that'll be a component in it. It'll be the script, and that'll be stored in here. Then inside of, uh, this is a take damage is one of the functions built inside the script. So take damage. And it's going to be the attack amount. So attack amount is going to be 10. So it's going to send it the attack, attack amount. And then it's going to wait. And then it will do it again. Okay. Um, and then we're also going to go ahead and just do this. We're going to do another function on trigger exit. And other dot. Or sorry, other. And it's going to be collider, other collider, 
and all we're going to do on this one is basically do anim dot set bool and we're going to set basically all we're going to do is we're going to take the attack and um, turn it off I'm just going to make it false okay so basically if it's not in the proximity of the trigger enter it will um, clear it out so I'm going to save that go in here look for errors so player health so you can see I screwed that up so um, player health player health right there okay control s go back here unexpected token player health script so 18 all right player let's see something and it says 104 so it's later on player health script and for whatever reason i put quotes in it and it shouldn't have had that i don't know why i did that all right let's go back here and back to console and it says game object which again is not another thing so um it's real easy to mistype it seems so good all right now what we're going to do is i am going to go ahead and did i already add it let's see enemy attack script all right so um what i'm going to do actually is remove it from this thing i'm going to remove that component and i'm actually going to go ahead and put it on the enemy here instead uh the reason being is that um well actually sorry i want to put it on the animation thing because this is, has the actual animation attached to it so I'm going to take, what are you called, enemy attack script. I'm going to stick it right here. And what this is also going to allow me to do is go to uh, scene. And where are you? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add a component, a physics. We'll just do a box collider. And this is basically going to be my um, attack cube. So basically, if the player is in this cube, he will be attacking is the idea. All right, and we'll just make it a little bit higher just in case. All right, boom. All right, and I'm just going to go ahead and make sure it's a trigger. And we will look at that. And let's see. Uh, that should work. Okay, so um, it's kind of hard to tell if that's actually going to be functioning or not. But let's see. So, so it's going to run this script. And let's see. Tech speed that's fine all right um that's all fine and dandy so we're gonna call that good all right so i'm gonna save this real quick and let's see make sure there's no weird it's not gonna do much right now because basically you're not gonna be able to tell because um there's just nothing to yeah all right um so that's good and now what i need to do is basically uh have some other things happen okay so um i'm gonna go ahead and do my ui so i can see what's happening because i can't really tell if this is attacking me or not because i don't have a health bar uh to let me know if it's working and i also don't have a thing to keep count of my ammo so i'm gonna go ahead and do that next